is the stuff we can't say on TV. Unplugged. Freewheeling, unscripted, and brutally honest. Talk for a new generation. I think the world of you, but you're wrong. No, 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 no. Actually, you wrong. But see, I'm a big girl. I can take it. No, 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 no. It's the Joe Scarborough Show with Mika Brzezinski. Hey, welcome to the Joe Scarborough Show. My goodness. Hello. It is getting interesting, Mika. Interesting. Interesting in New Jersey. Interesting in Virginia. And oh, my Lord. <laughs> interesting in New York 23, upstate New York. Hello. Let the purge begin <laughs> let the show mm. trials begin the party of bigger deficits ah. the party of more debt ah. the party of runaway entitlement spending ah. 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 the party of not barack obama no no! The party of John Boehner. The party of Mitch McConnell. The party, may I dare say, of Newt Gingrich. The party that I have been kicking around for six years. I speak of my party. The Republican Party, the bloated party, the big spending party, the party that listened to David Brooks in 2004 when he said, big government conservatism is the future. Can you tell us, Wing Martindale, is that right or wrong? Eh, it's wrong. Something significant did not happen this weekend in upstate New York. Something significant happened Across America. Conservatives decided that they were going to take their party back. They were going to take their party back from people who thought the way you get elected is by splitting the difference with Democrats. That instead of being for really, really big budgets, you're just for kind of big budgets. Oh, you know. The party that Newt Gingrich ran when he yelled at people like me and Steve Largent and Tom Coburn and John Shattig and Jeff Flake and Mark Sanford. Yeah, the, you know, when, when, when he said that we were the perfectionist caucus because we wouldn't go along with David Obie's spending plans, that party may be laid to rest. And I predicted this morning on Morning Joe, and let's pray to God it's the case. That what is happening today, what will happen in elections tomorrow, will be looked back upon when you hear the name New York 23. When that moniker is mentioned in years to come, I think it may carry the same significance as Proposition 13 in California 1978. When the Republican Party of Bob Michael and Gerald Ford was pushed aside for the, the, the party of William F. Buckley and Ronald Reagan. But the party began. And the best part, Mika, is liberals have no idea what's happening. Don't tell them. Frank Rich compared me to Joseph Stalin. He said people like me are like, like Joseph Stalin. You know the guy that killed 50 million? You get everybody. Mike Allen at Politico. We love Mike. We have him on the show every morning. He said this is a nightmare for Republicans. Let them keep thinking that. Don't tell them. Don't tell them that in 1994, Newt Gingrich worked hard to, to, to pick a, a moderate Republican to beat me in a primary because he said I was too conservative to win. And then when I won the primary, they said they've lost it. The New York Times came down and said Democrats could have been beaten, but for the fact that they picked Joe Scarborough, he's too conservative to get elected. And they were almost right. In a district that had not gone Republican since 1872, I only got 62% of the vote. Just think what would have happened if they picked a moderate. Oh, God, this feels so good. 
Dude, have you seen me this happy in a while? Um, I'm trying to think. I've You're been, definitely peppy today. I have been wait. I've been waiting for this. I Seriously, this is about the happiest I've been since I went up and hugged John Kasich in 1995 when we passed a balanced budget plan in the House. Yeah. Well, Small government, and you saw my tweet. I saw your tweet. Saturday morning, I said, you watch the mainstream media try to make this about abortion and gay men yeah. instead of taxes and less government. Yeah. I wasn't disappointed. No, you weren't. And this Gazafava, who yeah. Uh, yeah. dropped out of the race. How, how dare we say that she is a liberal? She then sweetened the deal for you, didn't she? She kind of did. Yeah. She, she kind of did. She, she did that when she endorsed the, um, not the Republican no, candidate. The, the, um, the, uh, um, um, the Democrat. Thank the you, Gazafava. Faza Raza Laza. Gaza you, Faba. She, uh, Miss Gaza Faza, mm-hmm. proved Big Daddy <laughs> right. Bear. Again. A conservative? <sighs> I think not. A Republican? I think not. No. Happy not. days are here again for the mm-hmm. likes of me. And also,